Welcome back to day two of our Spring to Science Farming in a Glove. I am Brooke Temple, Education Specialist with Nebraska Agriculture in the Classroom. If you are joining us for the first time today, go ahead and go back to our Facebook page to watch the first video of day one of how we planted our farming in a glove. Also found in the link today is our Gus at Home. This is an opportunity for you to print off your picture of Gus and snap a photo of how you're following along in your Spring to Science Farming in a Glove journal. You will then be entered to win a free book that we are giving away. We're giving away 24 agricultural books to 24 lucky winners that submit photos using Gus at home. Yesterday we discovered that plants are part of our everyday lives. From the food we eat to the clothes we wear and to the cars we drive, we can give credit to plants. Yesterday, we planted our very own farming in a glove as we follow along and watch how our seeds grow. Do you remember what we call the process of sprouting? What do we call that word? Seeds that are sprouting are called germination. We planted four seeds yesterday. Four of these are the top crops that we grow right here in Nebraska. So we planted corn, soybeans, wheat, and dry beans. We made predictions along the way, and I want to hear your thoughts. Our first prediction we made yesterday was, I think blank seeds will start growing first. Of those four seeds that we planted yesterday, which seed did you think, or do you think, will start sprouting first? Do you think it'll be corn, soybeans, wheat, or dry beans? Go ahead and put your answer in the comments below. How many days do you think it'll take for our seeds to start sprouting? We are going to watch this over the next 12 days. So what is your guess? Today, we are going to learn a little bit about the corn that we grow in Nebraska. Nebraska ranks number three overall in the United States for corn production. We grow on average four different types of corn. The first type of corn we grow is called dent corn. This is the type of corn we planted yesterday. It is called dent corn because if you look up close, you can see those little tiny dents in each of the kernels. Another interesting fact about dent corn is that it grows on a red cob, where the corn we eat all grows on a white cob. We do not eat this corn, so who do you think likes to eat dent corn? What animal do you think we could feed dent corn to? We feed a lot of our dent corn in Nebraska to our livestock animals, specifically cattle, our beef cows love to eat corn and it's a great food source for them, but we can also feed it to our pigs and chickens as well. This dent corn is used to also produce ethanol, which is a fuel we can burn in our cars, and it is used for a byproduct. So we can make corn oil or even corn starch from this type of corn. The second type of corn we grow in Nebraska is sweet corn. How many of you like to eat sweet corn? I know it's one of my favorite tasty treats in the summertime. Farmers haven't quite yet planted their seeds yet, or if they have planted, they're going to start growing soon. So I don't have any sweet corn to show you today because we get to enjoy that in late summer. The third type of corn we grow in Nebraska looks like this. Any guesses as to what type of corn this might be? It grows on a white cob, just like the sweet corn we eat does. I'll give you a hint. It pops in our microwave. This is popcorn. We are the number one popcorn producer in the United States. So we grow about 45% of the United States popcorn for production. And popcorn grows on a cob, just like the other type of corn we eat does. 
And the fourth type of corn we grow in Nebraska is called white corn. It also grows on a cob or a white cob as well. And we take these seeds off our kernels and we can grind it up to make corn flour, which we can use for corn tortillas or corn chips, some of our Doritos, if you like Fritos. This is used for food grade corn that we grow in Nebraska. So if we review here quickly, we grow four different types of corn. We grow dent corn, we grow sweet corn, which we get to enjoy, popcorn, and white corn. So we grow four different types of corn right here in Nebraska. Do you know what season farmers plant their corn in Nebraska? What season could farmers plant their corn? Farmers plant their corn in the spring. They use this tractor up here to help them plant their corn. And this attaches to the back of the, the tractor called the planter. Those boxes that you can see right there are where all of the seeds go. Farmers fill up those boxes. And as the farmer drives through the fields, they drop the seeds behind the tractor so that the seeds can start to grow. Do you remember what we call the process of our seeds growing? It is called germination. So you can see that our seeds have sprouted now. And farmers rely on rain to help them water their plants. Why do, you, why do farmers plant their seeds in the soil? We planted our seeds, but we didn't use soil. Why would farmers have to use soil in order for their seeds to grow? Farmers plant their, their seeds in the soil because they need the nutrients from the soil to help their seeds grow. And the soil serves as an anchor for those roots so that they hold into the soil so they can grow tall. We did not use soil in our gloves because we want to be able to see our seeds sprouting or germinating. In order for our seeds to continue to grow, we would need to plant them in soil. When it doesn't rain, farmers rely on something that looks like this to water their crops. This is called a pivot or an irrigation system. It acts as a big sprinkler. So these hoses come down and they're big sprinklers that slowly move through the fields to help us water our crops. This is called a pivot. Throughout the summer, our corn grows really tall. By the end of summer, if I would raise my hands above my head, the corn plants are going to be taller than me. They could be seven or eight feet tall by the end of summer or even taller. Then our corn, specifically our dent corn, starts to look like this by the end of summer. This is when farmers know it's time to pick their crops or harvest their crops. Harvesting means to pick their crops. Farmers use something that looks like this. If we plant our seeds, our corn seeds in the spring and they grow in the summertime, what season do farmers pick or harvest their crops? Farmers will harvest their corn in the fall. And they use something that looks similar to a tractor. Does anybody know what this is called? This is called a combine. The combine's job is to cut the ears of corn down. So they have little blades in here that rotate around and cut the corn off the cob. So the corn and the stalks all go into the combine and there's kind of sh like shelves in there that rotate and they knock all of the seeds off the kernels or off the cob. So we're left with just the seeds and the seeds stay in the combine and everything like the leaves and the stalks go out of the combine and can be used as fertilizer for the fields, or sometimes we might even see cows in the cornfields in the wintertime eating the stalks that got left behind. 
Once the combine is full of all of the seed kernels, they use this auger that comes out and they empty it into a semi truck or a grain cart. So you can see that they are emptying the seeds out of the combine or the grain cart. And then the farmer will take it to the elevator, the grain elevator. This is where the farmer can sell his grain and the grain will be stored there until they deliver it to the, the process or the processing plants that they use to make certain products. So they could take it to the ethanol plant to make ethanol, or if it's white corn, they could take it to the processing plant to make corn tortillas or Fritos, corn pop cereal. And so it'll be stored here until it is sold to the processing or manufacturing plant to make our food products. This is a picture of Nebraska. We have 93 counties in our state. And I want you to take a guess. In Nebraska, where do we grow corn? If you look at this map behind, all of the areas in red are where we grow corn in Nebraska. So we grow a good majority of corn all across our state. The dent corn we planted yesterday is used for a lot of different products. Although we don't eat it, we feed it to a lot of our cows, our pigs, and our chickens in our state. It can also be used as ethanol to fuel our cars or byproducts. Byproducts are secondary sources, so we can make corn starch or corn oil, corn syrup, and we get byproducts. These are ingredients, so it's just one product that goes into helping making these other products. So if you look closely here, we have our batteries, which we can use cornstarch as an insulator. The chalk that we color with has cornstarch in it to help us um, create that product. Baby diapers, fireworks, our glue, lotion, even our toothpaste or shaving cream. Those are all products that contain corn in some way or another. So we are going to grab our journal next and take a look at day two. So we have made our predictions on the front, drew a picture of what we thought our seeds would look like at the end of day 12. We said we planted four different seeds yesterday. Our next step now is to look at what has changed in day two. So I will show you what my glove has done in day two. I will also post a picture of this in the comments if you need a closer look. So day two for corn, do you notice anything has changed? What about our soybean? And our wheat seed, don't know if you can see that, but it is kind of started to split open at the top. And then our dry bean. If you take a good look here, you can see that it has also cracked open or split. None of these seeds, if you take a look, have sprouted yet. But they have gotten quite a bit bigger, which means they have absorbed a lot of water. So they are taking in water. When seeds absorb water, they can start to sprout or germinate. So join us tomorrow for day three as we join, um, as we look at our spring to science glove, farming in a glove, and we look closer at the soybean production in Nebraska. You can find our science journal in our links below. And don't forget to snap a photo using Gus.